the textbook YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about exception handling in Python. This is the first chapter in your NCRT um, textbook. Uh, in this chapter, we'll cover a variety of concepts. One is, um, you know, all of the different types of exceptions that can happen while you're running your code. And then also around how you would um, raise exceptions, handle those exceptions, and um, how do you write try catch finally clauses? So till now you probably have written code where your code does not throw any error. Um, but it is very much possible that when you write code um, due to certain conditions being hit, your code ends up raising an exception. So for example, given that you have a division function that divides two numbers A and B together uh, and returns an A divided by B. Now, say you have your calculator class that has like a main function. This main function calls this division function that you have written earlier that divides A and B. And now over here, if you pass in two integers, say 10 and zero, so it will come over here and you will try to return 10 divided by zero. Now, as you know, 10 divided by zero will throw um, a division by zero exception. Um, the reason why it throws a division by zero exception is because a division by zero is simply not possible. So what is an exception? An exception is just like um, something that represents an error. So, you know, when um, your code is trying to do something but is unable to do it because of certain conditions, then it raises an error. Um, there are different kinds of exceptions. There are built-in exceptions. Built-in exceptions are exceptions where uh, the there are certain exceptions defined in the Python programming language itself. So these could be like syntax errors or you know indentation errors, zero division errors, some like over here. We also have custom exceptions. So these custom exceptions are exceptions that you would write yourself. So you as a programmer have the ability to write your own exceptions. And by writing these exceptions, you can call those custom exceptions. So for example, if you if if you did not if you wanted to write instead of a division by zero exception, you wanted to write your own exception clause that says don't do this exception then you would you can define an exception yourself and you can raise it uh, what does it mean to raise an exception so in this code the first block is very uh, tightly defined where it says um, you just divide a and b now a and b uh, when it's divided it could give uh, a, a division by zero exception but if you want to handle that properly you don't want your code to just you know exit you want it to be more subtle about it so in that case what you can do is you can say if b is equal to zero then you raise an exception now when you raise this exception um in the uh, the way you do it is by writing raise division by zero exception and then in the parameters you would say um, divided by zero something like that and then your error message when you raise it finally will show that divided by zero and then what you do is if b is equal to zero so when you call this function division 10 comma zero over here it will say if b is equal to zero then raise the exception otherwise return a divided by b so this way your code will never just exit it will raise this exception your caller could then have a way to handle that exception so that's one way to do it one other way in which you can do this in a even better way is sort of um, having a try catch block what does a try catch block mean uh, in a try catch block all you would do is you want to try something so you want to try dividing by a, uh, a divided by b. If you pass in 10 comma 1, it would try successfully and just return 10 because that's the answer. 
but say you passed in b is equal to so you passed in 10 comma 0 in that case because this a divided by b will throw an exception so when your code does not work successfully it always throws an exception and when it tries to throw this exception you will actually catch it in your code and you'll put out print statements that say say try to divide by zero I'm, i'll just return zero instead and uh, that in an ideal world you would just do try catch but for example now you also have a finally block um, so what a finally block means is your finally block will always run no matter what your try catch happens so say over here you did uh, uh, try to do something else and even that failed um, or for whatever reason your print statement failed your code will always enter the finally block even after that uh, and then it will give this return um, zero so that's a little bit about how you handle exceptions so essentially always think about it this way where you can er encounter different kinds of errors when you're writing code it is good to raise those exceptions as needed if your if you know that your code is going to behave in a certain way when certain inputs are provided and when that does happen you should catch those and perform appropriate behaviors on those and then finally basically helps you determine okay what do i need to do uh, at the end of the try catch block so that my function always ends gracefully